my name is uh, Peter Treit. I'm Hungarian from Budapest. I work in Munich at the Max Planck Institute for Biochemistry, and I'm a mass spectrometrist or rather proteomicist. <laughs> so what we have done for this study, it's ACLF versus AD study. So that's acute decompensation. And we did a multi-omics panel, which means that we did metagenomics, metatranscriptomics. We use this data to provide FASTA files for our metaproteomics, so that's protein sequence files. We did bioinformatics analysis. We connected our results to metadata. We came up with a multi-omics biomarker panel. And now we will either validate or build mechanistic models out of what we did. This is a part of work package three. And we are looking at the microbial involvement in ACLF. So this is all targeted towards bacteria and microbes and viruses. So we are the, the proteomics portion of looking at the microbes. So we have um, 52 stable decompensated cirrhotic patients, 48 unstable. We have people who went on to develop ACLF in a three month period. And we have those patients who had ACLF at enrollment. And so these are kind of our study groups. Then at EMBO, they generated our sequencing data. So that's both genomics and transcriptomics. At Max Planck, we did the proteomics portion of everything. So that's all mass spec related, both host and metaproteomics. This is one of the nice parts of the technology that we can do both uh, species, we could call it that, in one experiment. The bioinformatics analysis is always specific to the omics, but in proteomics, you will see a lot of volcano plots, for instance and then maybe a heat map of differentially regulated proteins across time points or across patient groups. Then we have fantastic metadata collection in Münster and in Debrecen. Actually, it's funny because the samples are from Hungary as well. And the multi-omics biomarker panel is what we are here to discuss now. How do we go about making the right one? How does the data look? So we have a few interesting candidates, a few very interesting candidates, few interesting candidates, both on the host side and also on the metaproteomic side. Now the question is how we will go about validating these things. So uh, does the mechanism make sense? How many more samples do we possibly need to measure? Building the model will be managed job in Copenhagen and they will integrate all the different sources of information together and try to beat this uh, uh, EF clip score. And we do this by benchmarking uh, with rock curves, area under the rock curves, yeah. Rock and roll. 